Walking on lush green land, Benjamin Green Stacy can't help but feel a sense of peace. When you see this, it's the result of massive transformation, a massive uh, undertaking. And, and, you know, if you give nature half a chance, she does a lot of uh, to, to, to finish the job. This is Gadare de Gaguita Island in Ganawage, a Martian bay now teeming with life. Bank swallows nesting, western chorus frogs searching for food. Both threatened species have found safety here. But this land used to look like this. Rocky and barren, inhospitable to both animals and humans, an indigenous-led community project has transformed this place. You were telling me that this project was a decade and a half in the making, but really the story begins in, in 1954. Yes. This whole island is the consequence of seaway channel dredging. Right? Dredging to create the St. Lawrence Seaway. La voie maritime du Saint Laurent est ouverte depuis ce matin. The joint venture between Canada and the United States began construction during the summer of 1954 to improve shipping. In the Mohawk language, Ganawage means by the rapids. But the seaway meant the expropriation of more than 500 hectares of indigenous land and access to the water lost. Crews dumped sludge and blasted rock from the river on the island, creating an almost barren wasteland. I think a lot of times as, as Ungwe Hunwe or the First Nations people, we've kind of been forgotten or left on the sidelines of a lot of things. It wasn't an easy road to get here. Pulling up invasive aquatic weeds, pumping sediment out of the bay and planting trees and herbs to encourage natural growth. Securing federal funding for this project was challenging. When we're talking about Indigenous-led conservation and Indigenous stewardship, we need these programs to have a degree of flexibility. This is precisely the type of outcome that we can achieve. Land now teeming with life. Green Stacy wants this project to serve as a model for other Indigenous communities. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Ganawage.